Hi, everyone. Great to be here. Uh, really great to see everyone here in Tel Aviv today. We have great weather. Uh, it was uh, great to see so many people coming from all over the world to discuss this topic that's close to everyone's heart. And, you know, last time we were here, or we were in Chatbot Summit Berlin, we were just kicking off this Chatbot revolution. And we were discussing how to make Chatbots better. We were realizing their strengths and weaknesses, their limitations and opportunities, kind of figuring out what they're going to be. And that was the first stage of bot evolution, making bots better for their own. And today we're going to be discussing the next stage. We, as an industry, we have making big strides. We're making better bots. We have a lot of maturing platforms. And we need to figure out what's the next stage of bot evolution. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's start with our vision. Where, where do we want this evolution to take us? I think everyone here probably has the same vision, more or less. We're thinking about the all-capable, fully conversational, fully emotive, fully human-replacing bot. That's kind of our high-level grand scheme vision. But the reality is we're still a long way from it. We all dream of the day that a company will order a bot and here comes Steve the Bot knocking at the door, announcing, hey, I'm Steve the Bot, and I'll be replacing all of you humans. That, that's the dream, I think, but we have a long time until it will become reality. In the meantime, we need to figure out the next stage, what's going to come in between. And bot evolution is tied very strongly to AI evolution, for obvious reasons. And contrary to what we see in the media, AI is making a lot of advancements, but it still has a lot of problems. And the problem is, that affects us the most, is that today's AI is mostly a one-trick pony. And that's a big statement, and let me explain what I mean by that. We are making amazing AI advancements. We see AI driving cars, and conversing, and speaking, and doing vision, it's, it's amazing. We, we're seeing AI composing music. The, the opportunities are immense. But the truth of the matter is, each and single one of these AI and machine learning algorithms can do one thing and one thing only. And each of them would be completely useless doing anything else. Each of them is designed and trained to do that one thing. And knowledge transfer is still a huge problem and thinking out of the box is also a huge problem. And that limits, us, limits our ability to have flexibility in our bot capabilities. So the question is, what are we going to do? So we have another industry that is facing similar evolution process, and we can use an analogy to it. And that industry is the automotive industry. They're in an evolution towards the self-driving car. And let's tell the story of the automotive industry. A long, long time ago in an industry far, far away, which was just over 100 years ago, we had humans dismounting their horses and getting on cars, at which point it was the biggest debacle and setback for autonomous driving in the history of humanity. Because horses, were pretty much autonomous. We have to give them that in some degree at least. And we let go of that autonomy and move to completely manual driving. Ever since then, in the recent 100 years, we've been working diligently to get back on the horse, so to say, and restore the autonomous capabilities that we once had. And we're doing amazing things. Autonomous vehicles are probably just around the corner, and we're going to be delivering on that pretty soon. But in the meantime, in the period of time between full autonomy and manual usage, we have periods of collaboration, where man and machine are sharing the responsibilities of driving and collaborating together in a form of symbiosis to achieve their goal, which is getting somewhere safely. And this is very similar to what we have in our industry. So let's look at our industry here. So, once upon a time, we had humans providing service fully by themselves and quickly changed to a human-led service strategy. 
So humans, humans are no longer providing service by themselves. They use a plethora of tools and technologies, all from knowledge tools to predictive algorithms to messaging tools, a ton of technology behind them, but it's still very much human-led. The humans are running the show. Now, the next phase would naturally be bots and technology rising to become equals, kind of sharing the responsibilities for humans in giving this service. We're going to have humans and bots collaborating. We're going to have bots sharing the front stage, conversing with consumers more and more, and taking more of the responsibilities in the decision making and the service itself. What would come next is a reversal, where bots are going to lead the charge, they're going to do most of the things, and we'll have humans kind of doing the manual labor behind the scenes to accommodate what's missing. And manual labor will become kind of an interesting uh, idea then. And if we look here, we're seeing a very clear transition between humans utilizing technology all the way to technology utilizing humans, where at the end of the day, technology is just going to provide service on its own and bots will probably provide service to other bots and we can just stay at home. So, again, here, just like the automotive industry, until we reach full autonomy, we're going to have long periods of time where man and machine are collaborating to provide this service. And what we need to figure out is the symbiosis of these two types of entities and how they can coexist. Let's define symbiosis for a second. In symbiosis, we have two or more organisms working together, collaborating, and coexisting towards a beneficial coexistence, riffing off of each other, helping each other, and having a shared evolution. So how does this apply to us? Why do we even care? Aren't we already, already having collaboration between a bot and the humans and the agents? Well, I say no, we don't. I think the problem in today's strategy is that it's a turn-by-turn -turn strategy. It's a stay-out-of-each-other's-way strategy. We're talking about routing and channeling. We're talking about taking turns and handing over. That's not going to cut it. That's not collaboration. That's kind of trying to push the responsibilities to one another. So let's see how this collaboration and symbiosis can actually look like. For starters, we have to move from handing over to working hand in hand. That means we're no longer taking turns. We're going to have both entities, men and bot, working together, probably collaborating on the same conversations at the same time, feeding each other, helping each other, helping each other's responsibilities. So once we have both of these entities on the same conversation collaborating, we can start having them consult with each other. We can start having them really leveraging each other's capabilities. For example, an agent can ask a bot for assistance. A bot has amazing capabilities that a human cannot have. It can process vast amount of information and knowledge and provide information about the user's experience, his history. We can have the human and the bot conversing, for example, in a private chat sort of experience, collaborating behind the scenes while providing service. Either the agent asking the bot for assistance, or even the bot, if the bot is stuck and couldn't decide what was the actual intent the user had, it can ask the agent, hey, do you think he meant to cancel the account or cancel his order? The agent answer, bot continues the service. So not only you have a seamless experience for our users, but also bots can learn from this. And learning is important. Let's keep that in mind as we move forward. So as we see these two entities collaborating behind the scenes, why not have them on stage, front center, talking to the consumer together? We can have a sort of a group chat experience where bot and human are on the same conversation together maybe multiple types of bots at the right time, maybe different users. We can do a lot of very interesting things. We can have the bot use the agent, the agent 
leverage the bot within that same conversation. So this capability of putting both entities together, helping them to work together, brings us to three core capabilities. The first, consultation. Each of them can ask for information or assistance from the other one. The second, suggestion, meaning that either one can suggest information, even unsolicited. They can proactively provide, hey, you would probably want to use this. And the last, intervention, where either one can intervene in the middle of a conversation, do an action, provide information, anything. And all of this is possible simply because we have both entities collaborating together on the same conversation at the same time. So, once they're working together, the natural outcome would be that they can start learning from each other. That means humans can start learning from their bot partners. See, oh, this is what he answered here. That's interesting. You can see uh, junior agents get in a shorter training span just because their bots are going to help them out. You can see bots learning from humans. That's, I think, kind of our obvious uh, takeaway here. We can get a ton of training data this way. Very interesting. But I think in its highest form, the epitome of symbiosis is mutual evolution, where we see these two entities bot and agent starting to evolve together, starting to change, to learn how to adapt and better accommodate each other and each other's skills and limitations. Just imagine bots changing, learning to accommodate individual agents, learning which agents they should interact with more or less, and in which style and tone of voice. What information would be better to serve at which point? and with which agent skill. Imagine agents learning to utilize bots in a fluid, seamless experience within their service interactions. Think about an agent pulling in various bots, riffing off them, having a very natural conversation with more than one party on the conversation. Probably an agent pulling in customer service bot or tech support bot would be very easy, he's just giving us information, results, but maybe pulling in legal bot, it's gonna have the conversation pretty tight there. It's gonna change the flow of the conversation. So the truth is, we don't know exactly where this is gonna take us. That's the beauty of evolution. We're gonna learn a ton of things. We're gonna realize new things we haven't thought of before, but it can only happen when we bring them together. So, In the first stage of bot evolution, we we're focusing on making bots better for themselves. We're figuring out what they can do. In the next stage, we're going to start seeing what bots and agents, human and machine, can do together. And I believe that the winning platforms of 2018 and on are going to be the ones that not only deliver great bot and AI capabilities, that's not going to be enough. I believe that the winning bot platforms of 2018 and on are going to be the ones that nail down this symbiosis. They're going to be the ones that figure out the harmony between man and machine. Thank you very much.